Logan. Thank you for joining VIP Boxing on this Sunday afternoon. How are you doing? I'm doing great. Thank you. How are you? I'm good, thank you. Um, and thank you for giving me some of your time ahead of what is set to be your first title attempt this Saturday night uh -huh. morning. I'm looking forward to it. I'm I'm itching to get in. <laughs> I, do you know? I just literally I could I asked, spoke to you very briefly off camera, and that's the first thing you said, and you're just like, I'm like, I'm ready, I'm ready. Yeah. Someone to hold you back for the next six days. Um, but yeah, so this is going to be for the central area bantamweight title against VIPs Jake Harrison, um, and like I say, both first title attempt. Um, so how are you feeling going into this, Logan? I'm feeling great, to be honest. Uh, camp's going great, as we all say, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah, I, I'm just wanting to get in there now and, and get it done. And I'm, I'm itching to get in. And um, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. And first time fighting away as well in, in a different city. And first time yeah. I'd been to Liverpool as well. So once I've got the bell, I'll have to uh, go party around around the town. Oh, nice. Well, I can tell you that Liverpool is a fantastic city. And yeah, I did notice it was the first time you boxed away from home. So first title, quite a, a young um, age in your career, I suppose, in your boxing career. You're currently 4-0, oh, undefeated, um, yeah. but quite early on to be going for a title. Well, yeah, um, How did it I'm, I'm, gra I'm, gra I'm grateful for the opportunity from Steve Woods. Um, my previous fight at City Hall. Is uh there were there was talks of the fight possibly happening, but before I fought and then after I fought and before I spoke to you with my yeah. after fight interview, and uh, I was approached by Steve Woods uh, about the opportunity to fight, and you know I, I bit his hand off at the opportunity. Well, I was mm -hmm. to hear it when I got the, the the schedule through for this card. It's a cracking card, by the way. Uh, setting up to be uh, some great bouts on there. Um, but yeah, so last time out, it was against the Batley Bulldog and Nabil, yeah. uh, uh, Nabil Ahmed. Yeah, and you won on a points decision, 39-37. Um, yeah. Good fight. Yeah, great fight. It's toe-to-toe -to -toe, from start to finish. Um, yeah, was both giving it our all in there and, and, and that's all you can do, really. And then hope for the, the best. <laughs> And that was great because it was a real kind of Yorkshire derby as well. Uh, east against West, because you're from Hull. Uh, and obviously he's from from uh, from the West, uh, West Yorkshire, um, Batley. Um, so it was a great kind of Yorkshire derby over at, at City Hall. And he was coming into the Lions' Den. You were at home. Um, yeah. Just that, that first, second thing uh, is that you're boxing away from home for the first time. So what do you make of that? Yeah, I'm I'm looking forward to it to be honest. It's um another e experience, I suppose, uh, another uh, thing ticked off the list. Um we're gonna be bringing a fruit few down like I, f I think there's about fifty coming up to oh, now. Nice. So um they're, they're able to get behind me and, and yeah. It'll be good. Well I'm, I'm I knew they could make the noise at Hull City Hall, uh, so let's see if they can bring it to uh, to Liverpool Grand Central Hall, which is where we are uh, on Saturday night. Um, so just looking down um, your your record, uh, being in with some some tough opponents, actually, uh, very experienced journeymen, and I think they've all been learning fights. There's always been a point in the fight that you've you've had questions. Asked yeah. of you, and then you've gone on to to answer those questions and, and pass and and you know come out with the win. Um, what did you learn from the last fight with uh, with Nabil? Um, and what have you changed about your camp to address that moving forward? Well, I I've, I think all all of my fights, to be fair, have have all been like test fights because due to, due to my size and how I look, I look like a young kid. You know, I'm I'm only small and they've. All, all these away fighters turn up and think, you know what, I fancy this one. So they actually did turn it on a bit. So like some opponents who they would go in against and they just took up and move and, you know, try not to get cut or hurt for the next fight in the following week. So I've always got that when I fight and turning up and coming to win. So it makes out cracking fights, but... I'd like uh I'd say with the Nabil fight, um 
there was I, I was rushing a lot of stuff and there was a lot of swinging and missing. I was getting drawn in. I, I was smothering my work a lot, and so that's that's what we worked on really is not not smothering the work, you know, and uh, wasting any shots and yeah. And I think that's going to be key with this, obviously, because it's a step up in rounds. Um, so conserving that energy um, and making sure that you don't waste anything, I think, is going to be a key to, to key to the, the the sustainability of the fight for you. Yeah, definitely. I mean, I think we've both gone six. I believe Jake's only ever gone six as yeah. well. I think yeah. so. Yeah. So going to them championship right uh, rounds is it's unknown territory for us both. Well, yeah, you know, so that's that's what also makes it exciting as well. It, it really does, and I think with with area title fights, it brings something special. It yeah. really does. We've got to dig down deep. You do, and you know that both of you will have times within that fight that you will have to bite down. And we've seen, yeah. we've had title fights on, we've been really lucky, the first three cards of the year that we've done. Um, and and each one has, t- has turned out to be exactly what we, we sit here and we talk about and we hope as, as fight fans that it's going to be. Um, and I certainly know that I'll be excited to be ringside uh, yeah. with you, uh, watching you guys on, on Saturday. Um, but just again, a little bit more about so your opponent, he's eight and oh. So yeah. coming to this, he's twice as experienced in a professional ring. Yeah. Have well, you much thought I've, about that? Or does it make yeah. a difference whatsoever? No, it doesn't make a difference there, to be honest, because I, I think we've we've fought very similar kids. Yeah. Um both gone in with I, I think I've almost been in with everyone he has, I, yeah, I think. actually, yeah. And uh, I'd say the Mikey... Some, Mikey Young. Yeah, Mikey Young. So, obviously, we both went in with him, but I dropped him and he didn't. And there's one fight where he's been in with someone and stopped someone who I And it's, it, it's just going to... It will be really a cracking fight. And if not, it will be the fight of the night. I, oh. I don't doubt it. And... Um, but yeah, with with Jake really, this this is sort of his tester fight as well because mm. the, the last one was sort of like I'm picked for him, you know, a vacant title. You yeah. know, Jack Dwyer, he was um in a away fight, but he had a few own fights. But yeah, yeah, it was it was sort of I'm med for him that. But this one is is a tester for him, as it is for me. We're both going up and we're both going to want him to win. He's going to want to retain the title and I'm going to want to go there and take it off him. And, and party around Liverpool by all accounts. Yeah, and party around <laughs> Liverpool. <yeah. laughs> well, I'm staying over, so whoever wins, I'm partying with you guys. <laughs> I'm staying over too. <laughs> um. Did you just mention there about um you you dropped I think it was uh, Mikey Young in the fourth um yeah. when you boxed him um but still yet to get our first stoppage do you yeah. think this with the bragging rights with the title on the line could really make you and those opportunity those parts where you're gonna have to bite down make you maybe find that extra bit of power because we know that you can punch yeah I I think so I think last. With with the Mikey fight, obviously yeah. I I dropped him. And it was towards the end of the round, so then he had that round to recover, and then so that knocked down. Then it's gone. You're back to square one. You you you're not chasing that. You know, if it comes, it comes. I was just but, thinking um, that was a six round fight, though, wasn't it? So I was just thinking, yeah, if next, yeah. Um, but uh, yeah, no, he got that minute recovery time, didn't he? Yeah. So that that's why that one probably went slipped just the way, but. So this one's like I'd, I'd, I'd like I'd say more so Jake stoppages as as well as being like referee jumping in because nothing's coming back sort of thing. So it's not actually like they've been really air or it, it might have like give him a quick head shake or something and then he's just pounced on him like his hands go and the ref because nothing's coming back has just stepped in. So there's also that. There is, and um, from what I've seen of you, I can't. Um, I think you're gonna have to be seriously hurt to stop you from throwing back because you are like a dog with a bone, Logan. Which is why I love watching you fight, and you're a pleasure and a joy to watch. Um, so on Saturday night, and am I gonna be saying congratulations, Logan Richardson, and the new? Definitely, without a doubt. <laughs> <laughs> 
Well, I wish you all the best, as I do with Jake as well. I'll be ringside and I'll be hoping to catch up with both of you uh, after the fight. Uh, but thanks yes, for sir. taking from Thank you. Have you got any sponsors you want to thank, Logan? Sorry. Um, I'd like to spawn, uh, uh, thank SR Decorators. I think they are. The, they changed the name from Smith & Browns. It's oh. Russ, the great guy. Um, Guts UK for my, for my sister. You know, going on with her own sort of battles at the minute and this fight sort of just like showing if you if you don't give up sort of thing you know you can achieve and um yankee land in hull best chips in all if you're ever in all <laughs> <laughs> do you know what just picking up on what you just said there about not trying hard and not achieving and things i think boxing regardless of whatever happens in the ring as a fighter, it teaches you so much in life about yourself, doesn't oh, it? So the, much the, discipline the, behind the it. The strength of character, the, mm. the determination, the doggedness. I, I know it changed me. I hope for the better. Um, but, uh, yeah, it's, it's a life skill. I really do think it's a, okay. it really is. Uh, so, yeah, shout out to your sister as well, Logan. Thank you. Thank you. See you Saturday night. See you later. <laughs> yeah. For all boxing, info, news and latest interviews, Amateur and Pro, across and off, click and subscribe. VIP, boxing promotions. Also, Twitter, Instagram and Facebook.